Welcome to Improve Better Daily, and today I want to share a story with you. It's about a 50-year-old woman's regrets after her second marriage. At this age, men marry you for only two reasons. Marriage is where most people find belonging, where they choose a city to grow old in and a person to grow old with. It's the most romantic thing in the world to walk hand in hand with your loved one throughout life. However, as life goes on, marriages face challenges like the seven-year itch, midlife crises, financial issues, and conflicts with in-laws. In today's materialistic world, lifelong companionship is precious. Many couples endure hardships in their youth but can't share the sweetness of success together. When they reach middle age, they end up divorcing. After middle-aged couples divorce, men look forward to happiness in the later years. Some wealthy men even marry much younger wives. The lives of middle-aged divorced women, on the other hand, differ significantly from men's. There's a saying that second marriages are like thieves. It might sound exaggerated, but it's true that second marriages require a lot of effort. Some have been hurt in their previous relationships, casting a shadow over their view of marriage. They become less willing to invest emotionally. Others haven't completely let go of their ex-spouses and continue to linger due to shared children. Additionally, as people enter middle age, their emotions and focus shift to their children, who become their top priority. In remarried families, conflicts arise over your child versus my child versus our child. Balancing this is extremely challenging. Many remarried couples live under the same roof but lead separate lives, both financially and emotionally. They share expenses but bear individual responsibilities within the marriage. In some cases, when faced with adversity, they might split up without hesitation. Let me share a story about Li Shang Mei, a 50-year-old woman who got divorced after 10 years of marriage. 10 years ago, her husband's career took off, and he fell for a younger, prettier woman. However, he didn't want to divorce Li Shang Mei because he didn't want to split his assets with her. For a decade, they lived together without any intimacy. They became like roommates, living parallel lives. As their children grew up and started their own lives, they realized their parents' marriage was far from happy. Recently, Li Shang Mei's husband met a strong-willed woman who insisted on getting married. Faced with this ultimatum, he had no choice but to divorce Li Shang Mei. After the divorce, her husband found a new wife while Li Shang Mei chose to live alone. She thought that when her son had children, she could help take care of her grandchildren. Her son got married, but she soon realized that young people nowadays prefer to hire a nanny instead of having their mothers-in-law help. Li Shang Mei accepted her situation and found her own routine. She lived a quiet life, occasionally interacting with a group of women practicing square dancing in the park. Li Shang Mei's story shows that second marriages might not always be as rosy as expected. Some men remarry simply for practical reasons. Li Shang Mei's husband married her for two purposes, someone to take care of his daily needs and someone to talk to at night. While these are common needs, they don't guarantee a deep emotional connection. In Li Shang Mei's case, she ended up feeling lonelier than when she was single. Women in their middle years should be cautious about second marriages. If there isn't genuine love, it's better to be alone. Pursue love while you can because as you get older, you'll find that most people you meet already have someone else in their hearts. People who can truly love you with all their might become rarer as you age. I admire women who can decisively leave a failing marriage, but I appreciate even more those who can weigh the pros and cons. In marriage, even if you burn your bridges, it's hard to leave unscathed. Even if you win, you might still lose something in the process. In middle age, people still have emotional needs, but they view love and marriage differently. They focus more on practical aspects like money, material wealth, and children. So, when men choose second wives, it's not that they have no feelings for them, but often those feelings can't compare to their other goals. That's all for today's sharing. Thank you, for your presence. Feel free to leave a comment and share your thoughts. Don't forget to like and share this with your friends. Looking forward to meeting you again soon.